Good morning y'all, my name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Today we are going to be shopping for some big girl work clothes. I'm gonna have to find some business casual stuff. Um, and yeah, I don't. I honestly don't really know what business casual is. Can you help me? For women? Yeah. Business casual is so like loosely defined for women. I know, that's the, that's the issue that I'm having right now. Well, these like kind of like flowy or like looser slacks. Like, okay. Maybe like those like kind of like Gucci looking slide things, you know? Like yeah. The, and then like just like a black button. I have right. like work pants. So I have one work pant, but like I think I want like one more or like a dress or something. I feel like dresses are just so easy. Um, and I really want to go to this place called Style Encore. Um, I had it in Orlando and I was really upset that I, I thought I didn't have it in Austin, but like I found it. And it's basically just like a Plato's Closet. I think it's like their sister store, but it's like nicer brand. It's definitely more mature than Plato's Closet too. Um, like they have business uh, work clothes and stuff like that. So I'm excited to check it out. But first we are going to First Watch. This is another place I had in Orlando and me and my friends used to go here all the time. Literally every freaking weekend we would go to First Watch and I found it here and I'm so excited to finally be going because it's actually like been on my to-do list. Like I literally have go to first watch on my to-do list because sometimes if I don't put it, like write it down somewhere, I'm like totally forget about it. So we're gonna go there and then we're gonna get shopping and then I have to pack because I don't think I have time tomorrow. And then I leave on Monday for Athens, Georgia. So let's get to it. We're at first watch. I got the elevated egg sandwich. Ryan got some tacos and then some millionaire bacon. And I actually tried out the new drink they have. It's called the blueberry booster or blue booster. I usually get the kale tonic, but this one was really, really good. And I'm so excited. I love it first watch so we just finished up breakfast what did you think still it's not that good at all <laughs> damn what did you think about it it was just a piece of egg between a bun and it's syrup just... and i think it's kind of like sticky and gross okay babe i liked it and i will always like first watch but anyways we are going to style encore right now um it? and it's right there the red sign um it, I don't know about this area. <clears throat> like, doesn't it look a little not nice? Like, really? that... Is it the nice area? What? This is the nice part of Austin. Okay, this shopping mall is just not very nice. Like this right here? Yeah. yeah. It's like old. Sometimes for like thrift stores and consignment stores, you can really tell like what's going to be in the store by looking at the area. Um, so I don't, I really don't really know where I am right now, but hopefully we'll find some good stuff in there. So we are in Style Encore and I'm looking through his pants right now, but I actually found like a lot of cute dresses. Um, also, I found a, um, a pair of really cool like gingham pants. So I'm going to try that on for you guys and for myself and hopefully I'll find some winners. Um, these things are priced so good and they're really good brands. Like I took a video showing you guys the brands. They have J. Crew. they have Madewell, they have Talbots, not that I would ever really shop at Talbots, but like. That's how you say it. I think so. <laughs> but um, basically, they just have really, really good brands for very discounted prices. Um, and especially like work clothes, I try like my best to be cute. And like, especially because I'm not going to be working here um, like every single day, I'm lucky enough to like dress differently every time because they won't see me every single day. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, I just wanna. Be cute, make a good impression. And Baby, let me tell you right back. I literally don't even know what Bye. I'm looking for, honestly. But I don't know. It, it's gonna be really cold, I think. So, like, I don't know if dresses are a good option, especially for this visit. But I'll, I do have one pair of pants, like I said. And I think I'm gonna get another pair of pants. So we'll see. Maybe like one day would be a dress day. See if it fits in the dressing room and this is my first shirt i definitely think it would look better with a bra but i really like these like ruffle things i think it's really cute and i'll just like wear it with black pants this shirt is free people and it wouldn't be for work i just thought it was like a really cool shirt for like a beach day or just like, a pool day or something um it's very see-through as you can tell so i would definitely need to wear like a swimsuit or something under it um like a bandeau or something um but i think it would be really cute with like ripped shorts because this is like kind of distressed on the bottom so i don't know i just had to show you guys i know it's not like a work outfit but i thought it was cute this dress is a winner 
This is so freaking cute and it's extremely flattering because it cinches in at the waist. And obviously I would definitely button it more, but I literally have like really long nails right now and I just cannot button things. And yes, these are my real nails. So I've just been growing them out and I just can't do the things I used to be able to do. But this dress is amazing. I love it. I think it makes you look so good. And I'm really obsessed with it. I'm excited. And um, this dress is Calvin Klein and only 20 bucks. This is the next dress. It is a high neckline and that's why I kind of picked it up because I love high necks. Um, I definitely think it would look a little bit better if I was wearing a bra, but it's okay. Um, I really like the color. It's a beautiful red, but I feel like it's just a little too fancy, so I think I'm gonna pass. So this is a Zara dress and I really like it, but um, I think these just won't tighten enough and it just like looks a little too big. Um, so it's a pass. It is the next day and I'm going to start packing for my first ever official work trip. It's very exciting but also nerve wracking because I really don't know what to bring. I don't know like how it's gonna go. So I definitely have to bring three work outfits, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, I'm coming home on Thursday so I don't think I'm going to be going to the office. Maybe I should like pack an extra outfit just in case. Um, but for sure three work outfits. I also wanna to try to go to Orange Theory while I'm there because it's literally like right next to my hotel so I don't really have that many excuses not to go. Um, so maybe like two workout outfits and then maybe like a couple um, comfy outfits just for like chilling in the hotel. Also, I kinda of wanna bring like a nice outfit for one night because I think I'm going to get dinner with one of my friends that still lives in Athens, Georgia. So first I think I'm gonna clean up in here and just like get everything out of my sight and then start bringing out the things I need. Apologies for the dirty mirror, but I'm gonna quickly show you guys the work outfits I'm gonna be bringing. So this is the shirt I got from Style Encore yesterday. Definitely looks 100% better with a bra on. These are the work pants that I think they're from like Nasty Gal or Boohoo. I literally got them so long ago when I thought I was getting a job like right after graduation. These have been sitting in my closet for a while, but I've actually used them um, quite a bit for like photography gigs because obviously you kind of have to dress like an all black or professional. Um, so these are so freaking comfy. They basically feel like leggings, but they're actually like work pants. They have fake pockets in the back, but they have a real pocket on the side, which is nice. Um, and then I have have these flats which I just got from I want to say Walmart or Target I think Target um no just kidding I'm pretty sure it was Walmart um again I had to wear them for some professional photography gigs the shoes were super cheap the pants were super super cheap um and then the shirt yesterday I got it um for I think I want to say like 15 or 16 dollars so I mean it's a really nice brand it's very nice quality and super happy with it. This is the next shirt. I didn't show you guys this yesterday because I didn't get it yesterday, but I did get it thrifting and it's a Zara shirt. And I think it's just so flattering because it has like a tighter look on the uh, top, but then it flows out into this little pretty like baby doll top. Um, and I would just pair it with like the same pants and shoes. Um, I didn't end up buying those gingham pants and I didn't end up showing them because they looked really, really bad. They just did not fit like in the right places like they fit they were stretchy but they just did not look good they accentuated some not so great parts but yeah so i think this could be another option and i definitely plan on dressing it up like with a lot of like accessories jewelry stuff like that good news guys i actually totally forgot that i had a pair of gingham pants but i just remember like in the summer they didn't really fit but i forgot that i lost weight so holla <laughs> these look so cute with this top so i'm really happy that i won't have to wear like the same pants like it wouldn't have been a huge problem because they're black anyways but it's just nice to wear something different so i'm really happy i found these because they're also really really stretchy um and also i bought these at the thrift store so don't underestimate your local goodwills plato's closets style and cords like anything like that especially if you're in the mood to shop like you can find some super great things in there for really low prices i'm going to be totally honest with you guys i'm not going to try this one on again because i tried it on yesterday and i had the longest nails and it just like it's very hard to button like i'm gonna spend like 20 minutes in the morning buttoning this thing um and yes i do need to cut my nails down but they're just so pretty like i don't know comment down below should i keep them long or cut them short i just really like the look of long nails 
and these are my real nails I think I told you guys yesterday but I feel like there's not that much I can't do but like buttoning things is one thing I cannot do with long nails not that I have to do that very often luckily um what else is something I can't do oh sometimes like pushing the seat belt thing to let go of my seat belt like that's kind of hard because I don't want to break my nail and like just push my nail into it so I have to like take my finger to the side and push it I don't know Anyways, maybe it's time that I cut my nails, but they're just so long and pretty. So I usually always pack with my packing cubes, and I think I'm just going to put my work clothes in, like, the smaller one, and then the comfy clothes with everything else in the bigger one. Um, but I also still have to wash the ones that I just got at Style Encore, so I'm going to do that now. And then I also have an event that I'm photographing in, like, an hour, so I have to prepare for that. So I'll try to come back and, like, show you guys just like the finished product of packing. I am back home from photographing the event and now I am just finishing up packing. The whites are still in the dryer, but I am gonna do some toiletries now. I kinda already started, but I'll bring you guys along. I'm actually gonna fill up the travel bottles because I just hate, 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 hate hotel conditioner and shampoo normally. So, you know, you never can chance it. I just think this is conditioner, yeah. Okay. Perfect. I'm actually mixing two, but I mean, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. This one's lotion and I feel like it has enough, so. I put it in this little bag just in case it's spilled anywhere. It would be safe. I'm also bringing my razor, but I need to get a little refill thing. I got these at Sam's Club, like a huge pack of just refills. It's just so nice. I feel like I have bought in razors in so freaking long. Um, so that's amazing. So I'm just gonna actually put that in here because it's kind of wet. I always check in a bag. Like I just can't do a carry on. So that is why I'm bringing razors and liquids and all that. I feel like I'm forgetting so much. I don't know. I think I need to look on Pinterest and just look at a packing list. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. You guys get the gist. Like. I just packed the normal stuff, nothing too exciting, um, but I'm so excited to go to Athens, Georgia and start my job, my real post-grad first job, and it's just going to be very exciting and nerve-wracking, like I said, but I know it's going to be great, and it's going to be like really nice to just be in a familiar city again. Like I honestly thought the last time I would be in Athens ever would be like Ryan's graduation, um, so it's it's cool I'm going back and I have a lot of places that I want to eat in Athens So I hope I get to do that. I plan on vlogging my first work week in my life. So hopefully That happens, but no promises. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye